Hey, Jules Bless Vegan, and thank you so much for stopping by. And also, thank you to those of you who have been praying for me, for the endless cold that I've been experiencing, and for falling on sugar <laughs> in the grocery store. Um, my pain is reducing, and my cold is getting much better, for which I'm so grateful. So the prayers are working. I do have another prayer request, though. You know, I didn't go to bed until like 2 in the morning, which is fine. Um, but this morning when I got up for school, one of my little dogs, Sina, who's so precious, she's like a miniature dachshund, um, was having a seizure. And her poor little head was going back and forth, and she couldn't stop, and her eyes were going. And I was like, oh my gosh, Father, what is your plan for this precious little kid? Because she's been having seizures since she was little, but... Unfortunately, one of the other dogs attacked her. I don't know what the circumstance was. I wasn't home. But it was like two weeks ago and actually punctured her cheek. And then all of a sudden her cheek and eye had swollen. And what I didn't know was that it had literally like punched through to her gum and impacted her tooth somehow. So whatever the case was, we had to bring her to the hospital yesterday. She had to be put to praise God, not put to sleep put under anesthesia um, so that they could remove the impacted tooth and drain the face and blah, blah, blah. And like, that's our third animal in as many weeks. Um, you know, one from double ear infection, one from, you know, teeth being pulled, one from this impacted tooth, like cha-ching. But we love these little people and we would do anything for them. So anyway, um, I had to be late to school because of course I had to stay with her until her seizures subsided and it did and she was her you know punky little self and tail wagging like so many people with seizures who can't remember it and are just exhausted afterwards so praise God she's okay today but I would prefer it if God would just heal her completely she's innocent she's you know a little five-year-old and I just want her to be completely healed. So if you're in on that prayer, please ask God to heal our dog. All right. So this is the quote of the day that I would like to share with you. And it says, the process of changing a lifestyle is vastly more important than reaching a goal or measuring a performance. And that's by Theodore Isaac Rubin. And I think that kind of goes in line with the idea that the learning is in the journey rather than the conclusion or the end goal. And, you know, for those of us who are trying to choose health and choose a better way of eating and choose a better way for the planet, um, though that certainly will be the end goal, right? Especially for the planet, the small footprints that we're doing today, or I should say the lack of, right, reducing our footprint on the planet, um, is going to be measured far beyond our lifespan here because everything that we do of course exponentially affects everything that will come and so the process of changing a lifestyle that's what we're in right now most of us are in that whether you're choosing whole food plant-based whether you're doing vegan whether you're doing high carb low fat raw vegan whatever it is you are in the process of changing your lifestyle certainly regarding food and I would argue that it's far more than food because it involves every aspect of our thinking, right? We have to remodify the places we go, the people we hang out with, the places that we shop maybe, um, you know, our entertainment. All of that needs to be modified um, if we really are committed to our new lifestyle because those things didn't work in the past and they're not going to work now. Um, if we're honestly choosing health, and certainly pristine health, which is a total Tanny Raw phrase, pristine health. So that process is vastly more important than reaching a goal. Because again, every little step, every little choice we make builds upon each other, right? Another Tanny Raws. I call these Tannyisms, and I have told that girl she needs to make t shirts that have Tannyisms on them. I would buy it. Tell me yes or no. I would be wearing some of those live food for a live body. The one I was about to say was moment plus moment equals momentum. And because it says vastly more important than reaching the goal or measuring the performance. And that's a mistake that we tend to make too, right? Like every single day. Instead of seeing the whole picture, 
This is a process of changing lifestyle. Instead of seeing the entire picture, we're concerned about one meal. We're concerned about, you know, one hour out of 24, you know, 24 hours out of a week, out of a month, out of a year, out of a decade, whatever. And that's kind of that pettiness. I think in a way when I think about it, and that's a lot of things, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> when I think about it, um, that's just almost another opportunity for excuse, right? I mean, as long as I'm complaining, as long as I'm putting myself down, as long as I'm saying, oh, I blew it, I've opened the door uh, for me to not choose wellness. I've opened the door for me to justify failure. And it's kind of just a gimmick. It's just a gimmick. This is by Theodore Isaac Rubin. I hope I said that to begin with. I always want to credit the person. But... The process of changing a lifestyle is vastly more important than reaching a goal. Which isn't to suggest that you don't even need to ever obtain that goal. And I have suggested many times that small incremental obtainable goals um, are far more helpful than some large, far-reaching goal uh, that may or may not be achieved. You know, I'd rather have a bunch of small markers that lead up to that 26-mile marathon um, than just hoping to be, you know, content when I hit the 26th mile. I kind of need rewards along the way, and I think all of us do. I was thinking of a friend of mine, Carolyn, who's in um, the... Raw Reset. If you're not familiar, again, you can look that up on any social media platform. Just put in Raw Reset, The Raw Reset, Tanny Raw Reset, and it'll mostly come up. It'll come up. But anyway, um, what she did was she, even though she's a full-on grown-up, but she does have some daughters, she went ahead and made herself a little star chart where she, you know, marks her achievements with a star. Well, that might seem a little silly for an adult, but to be fair, it's where we, most of us, came from as children, right? I'm earning that star from the teacher. And somewhere in our heart, in our inner child, at the very least, we do feel rewarded when we do that. So the process of changing the lifestyle is vastly more important than reaching the goal or measuring the performance. Again, the ultimate performance will be a reward in itself. But those small markers along the way may, in fact, give us the courage and momentum to even reach the goal. So that's why it's so important that we continue to share our experience, whether we're falling backwards, whether we're, you know, completely striving, whether you're someone who's counting day upon day upon day, whatever it is, it's worth telling your story as you go. The truth is we don't know when the end is up for any of us. So your story may be interrupted anyway. Um, if you accidentally exit the planet, but at the risk of sharing it, enlightening others, encouraging others as you go, perfectly imperfect, another Tannyism. <laughs> and when I say Tannyisms, what I mean by that is I'm not saying she created all these phrases, but she owned them and they've become part of her rhetoric and they've been, become part of her persona, right? As Miss Tanny Ross. So anyway, I love those tannyisms. They keep me going. And I hope this interested you. And I'm just going to read it clean one more time so you can ponder it. And hopefully you'll share below. The process of changing a lifestyle is vastly more important than reaching a goal or measuring a performance. Theodore Isaac Rubin. I am crazy tired. I don't know if I mentioned that. And I still have stuff to do, but I am not staying up till midnight tonight. I will find you again, my friends. Thank you so much for checking in. And until we talk again, be blessed. You okay?